Hi again, everybody. I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Carrie Hurt. And we are from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group on Inc. in Reno, Nevada. Today, Carrie and I will take a look back at the July 2019 real estate market activity in Old Southwest Reno. And please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons below. All right, Carrie, let's look inside MLS and see what happened in Old Southwest Reno. Let's do this. Fifty-eight homes sold in July, continuing the downward trend of sales after May's inexplicable peak of 89 sold. Still, the 58 is 23% more than July of 2018, and it matches July of 2017, which was the bumper crop year of sales in northern Nevada. The median price also softened to 545000 in July, still much higher than what the median is for all of Reno. As we've seen before, even with higher priced homes, the buyers are still coming to the table with more than 98% of asking prices, hitting 98.9% .9 for July. Usually when prices are higher, properties tend to sit for three to four months, but not in this area. Average days to contract at 51 for July is up from June, but it's right where it was in July of 18 and even 17. Even with the combination of fewer units sold and fewer listings hitting the market, inventory is still higher than last year and last month. The 12% increase in month's supply of inventory isn't enough to shift Old Southwest Reno away from what is still a seller's market. And for more market reports, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. Well, there's your look back at the July 2019 real estate market activity in Old Southwest Reno. And if you found this info helpful, please share this to your social media too. Absolutely. All right, Carrie, that'll do it for us this month for the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group on Inc. in Reno, Nevada. I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Carrie Hurt. We'll see you next month.